hey coding owls welcome back to my channel my name is zartab nakwa and today i'm going to show you how to install hortonworks data platform on your vmware so let's begin to download your hortonworks data platform you need to go and search for hortonworks data platform whatever download you're looking on for uh, i'll better look for a sandbox download so Hortonworks Sandbox download. You will land up on this website, which is now held by Cloudera. So yeah, uh, even though uh, Cloudera has acquired Hortonworks uh, two years back and yeah. So I want to download this HDP Sandbox. I don't want this old one Cloudera data flow. I'll better go for this download. And while downloading, it will ask you for some details like so get installation type. I am looking it for VMware. If you have VirtualBox, you can go for VirtualBox. If you're comfortable with Docker, you can go for Docker. So I select my VMware. I need to give some basic uh, information here. For example, I give my details and I say I am a developer. continue I accept the terms and condition policies and it will ask you okay whether you want to download this HDP VMware I say yes let's start download now this download is 20.6 GB as you can see it will take a lot of time I have already downloaded it so you guys need to make sure this downloads and yep, I am pausing it for now because I have already downloaded it now you can connect back to this video after your download is completed Okay, so now once your download is completed, what you can do is you can go to your VMware. You can use any copy of VMware and now you can go to file, go to open. Yeah, so this is the file C, which I have downloaded. It's a 20 GB file. So I select this OVA file to create my machine. Let me call it as code with Z uh, HDP underscore HDP machine and i don't want to this file will actually take a lot of space when it will open up so i am like attaching my hard disk here so it takes around 120 gb to be precise i will just create a folder here by name vm and i will connect that vm for my import yeah so simple steps you go to file you go to open you get uh, select the ova file and tell them where you want to make this machine and it will start the import now it's a long process will take some time Okay, as you can see this uh, installation is completed and I just want to tweak something here I want to give more memory if 10 GB is there that's not a problem you if you have uh, see my machine have 24 GB RAM so I plan to give it 16 GB if you if you have 16 GB 10 GB is enough for it but yeah I want it running to be faster so I have given this and now you can just say power on the virtual machine So it will take it time to just it will say where wait for when the docker starts and this particular step take a few minutes so it will extract those things one by one for first time it will take this time uh, this process only occur once as they said on the screen as well so don't you need not worry about it
okay so after that long uh, uh, extraction part you will get this particular screen and if you check i'll just make it full screen for a while so if you want to initiate now if you are on virtual box you have to use this particular calls if you are on vmware see they have given you an ip address uh, 192.168.227.134 colon so yeah we'll be using those uh, now so you need to make sure that this vmware is continuously on and now you can go to your browser and try to call that 192.168 and it is 134 now i used one other so it was one so this is your shell guys yeah this is how you can access your uh, hadoop shell uh, in this one and 192.168.134 colon 1080 will give you access to your uh, ui ambari now see uh, if I want to access Ambari, I can go here. It is uh, 1080, right? So it is loading up, uh, not on this one. Actually, it has to be HTTP colon slash slash 192.168. So it will be 134 colon 1080. See, this will open up your screen for Ambari and uh, you can access somebody from here you can go to quick links uh, here they have already given you that username password is rajops so you can go to U ui and and say raj underscore ops raj underscore ops so it will you will sign in i'll just save my password okay no worries so now these services are actually uh, suppose we'll we'll get started one by one okay so just give it a while when the moment you initiate something it will it will start so if i go to my shell now i'll say connect again and my username here is root password by default is hadoop it will ask you to change the password moment you log in so you need to do i'll just give my password and i will set a new password the new password has to be eight characters long so you need to take care of that and please make sure that you do not mess up with this yeah, so this is how you can access your uh, console from here so you don't need to have some putty or another software they give you on the console here directly yeah so once you log in all the services will here start now one by one and this is how you install your ambari uh, and server hadoop server on your vmware so yeah that's it guys you can uh, i will share the link for cloudera from where you can download it in my description box thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channel